<laughs> what the hell? Lisa. That was a really realistic sound effect. That didn't even sound like it was coming from the game. So you see the woman bleeding from her head and you run away. Welcome back, Z. You run away. Why is the music all cheery right now? It sounds nice. We just saw a bloody woman and we ran away from her, leaving her to her own misery. Why are we being cheery about this? There's a diary on the floor. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Not even once. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at the hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing comes out, vomiting only bile. If they got rid of one sentence, that could have been a, hai a haiku, I think. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. <laughs> Speaking of drugs. <laughs> Me. Pour one out for the lady. That sucks. What the hell? I don't know if she was like... I thought she was Dahlia in disguise at one point. But then she came to realize like she's just one of them? As in like what? A summoned spirit? Uh, someone from the underworld? From the world of the dead? Did she not exist? I wonder what really happened with her. I feel like a bit of a jackass running away. All of this music. I'm gonna get copywritten on YouTube for this music. It's a sweet gem, I'll tell you that much. Random as fuck, but sweet. So what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh, this is... It's not just, uh... Is it? Not just the Solomon's pentagram, is it? The amulet is star-shaped, yep, object with six corners, named after the ancient magician. But none of the doors ask for Solomon, so I don't think that's for the doors. Right? I believe there were three of them, but I only see two. Hmm. Balag. Okay. So, alright. I guess I'm going back. I don't think I'm done in this section. <laughs> One of us. One of us. All happened to the beat. Nope, nope. Now it's back to Creepsville. Alright, so we're back at this puzzle. And some really creepy ass fucking sound effects. Did I do something to offend you, game? Like, I assume that the left had something to do with the numbers on the left, and the right had something to do with the numbers on the right, but there's a middle. And there's no 10. Absolutely no 10 at all. This is what has me so effing confused. Why is this music so creepy? I don't remember this music here when we were here last time. That theory did not work. <laughs> God damn the sound effect. It's hard to keep it straight. With this creepy ass fucking sound effect in the background. Nope, that theory did not work either. I mean, just like... Hmm. I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the singles and the doubles. Like, there's... Only two singles, but there's t but there's two doubles, right? But one of the singles is a ten. So 
Uh, there's two of yous and only one of yous. Oh, there's two uh, double things actually. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna put them all as two. Are they like zodiac signs? That's what I assumed. That's what I assumed at first. I'm still not too sure. I mean, obviously, there's Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Gemini. I don't know who the ram is. Aries, that's right. The ram is Aries, and I don't know if the fish is Aquarius or not. <clears throat> hmm. But... Even then, like, knowing... Even if it were horoscopes, I still don't know how that helps me with the numbers that are representing. So, Aries. And then, I guess, Aquarius for the two fish. So, if Aquarius is one, is Aries, like, the fourth month? By at all? That's what I kind of assumed. It would be month number. But, like, uh, someone in chat told me that it wouldn't be outside knowledge. So I assumed that you wouldn't expect a kid in the 90s to know which month represents the the horoscope. Especially because the horoscopes blend into another month. The zodiac signs blend into another month. So I have a hard time wondering if that's what it is or not. Like, is Cancer on the 10th? October? So there's like a lot of reasons for me to think that it wouldn't be horoscope based even though it's obvious horoscopes like the month at least it wouldn't be the month based but uh gemini is like what the sixth one i have a different guess yeah shoot this one's really obscure scare uh, uh what's month is sagittarius and what month is um the ram. Number of legs? Libra starts in September. That would be eight. Well, then that would make sense. Because that's two. That would be February. Number of legs. I wonder if you're right, because that's a fucking crab and it has 10 and 10. Oh my god. You are right. You are fucking right. Alright. Alright. I don't know if I'm gonna take hints anymore. I don't know if I'm gonna take hints anymore. Because that is definitely right. So then that would make them all four, no? That would make them all- wait, oh, except- or is it limbs? Which means these kids have eight limbs. Maybe it's not? Hold on. Or did I get that wrong in Minimum Moron? Two, four, six, eight. Hmm. It's gotta be the legs. But it didn't work here. Uh, did I get something wrong with the bull, or maybe this- Oh, wait, that's- those aren't legs. But then, the crab was claws, not legs. Oh, sex! Because I'm a moron. So this is a- I was thinking, they're all gonna be four? That makes no sense at all. They can't all be four. That's what makes sense, yeah. Yeah, the legs is very- Huh. I guess I should've been counting. The horoscope thing threw me so fucking off. Cause like, I kept fighting against myself. I was like, it can't be the horoscope thing. There's just too many uh, things to go with that. There's just way too many things to go with the horoscope thing. You bitch. How do you like it, huh? How do you like it? Mine's bigger than yours. Did that feel good? Oh, the horoscope thing freaking hurt me so much. <laughs> Didn't mean to, Maria. It's alright. I asked. I tempted. I gave up. I was the one who gave up. Large stone with clock face design on the pillar with astrology chart hanging from it. Cool. Not quite sure where to put these weapons. There was a clock somewhere back somewhere. That's how I speak. At least it's not the piano puzzle. I like the. Yeah, the piano puzzle did take me a little while. Uh, but then when I realized that I'm supposed to be hitting the keys you can here, as opposed to the ones you can, I'm like, are you effing kidding me? 
I like the piano one actually, that wasn't too bad. How you doing, Nolan Brian? Hope your day's been well. Hey, for anyone who's new here, uh, my name's Natal. I do art sometimes, like it says in my name, but it's not my main focus. Variety gaming is my main focus. But I do a dash of art every once in a while. Hey, there's that clock. I do love retro games. Excellent. I was born in the 80s. Thank you, Brian. I really appreciate that. I was born in the 80s, so I kind of grew up with gaming. At least the best of it, I would like to say. I'm big into retro as well. I don't always do retro. It's quite rare. I'm only doing this mostly because I've never done the Silent Hill series. I want to go through the series for one. For once. All right. So this needs a key, though. The old clock, there's a hole. I thought I got the key from the... No, right. That key wasn't for the birdcage. I still did not get a key for the birdcage, did I? All right. So we got a couple of things to use here. No idea where to put them yet. Oh, good. Reason being, beat this game early this week and been watching others play. Oh, yeah, right. Cool. So I guess you had an overall good experience then if you want to keep watching. That's good to know. Stone of Time, horoscopes. It makes sense, but it's all to see. <laughs> all red herrings. Um, oh, yeah. There's this again. And so I still don't have the piece for this. Unless these things magically line up with it. No. I didn't think so. Why can't you be a master pick locker and use that goddamn screwdriver? Or, you know, use your axe and just bash it open? But no, no. I have to use a weapon to open it instead of bashing the hell out of that thing open. Uh, so this is still locked. Right, where the... Okay, so I've been to the clock room, nothing happened there. I've been here, nothing happened. Oh god, what the fuck? No! No! I did not oh. consent! Stop touching my nipples! Stop breathing! I wasn't supposed to come here- Oh my god, she grabbed me instantly! That's... That's oh. bullshit. <laughs> that was so wrong. Uh, I see they enjoyed it more than I did. Oh, it didn't hurt me too much. I guess my guy likes the nipple tweezing. I don't have anything for this. For leg. I don't have anything that says for leg on it. What does not stop me from spamming weapons? Huh. What puzzle is there left? Must be a room I haven't searched or something. I don't think there's any puzzles. Haggith. Oh, Haggith is on this big door. I see. I was wondering why I couldn't find the third symbol anymore. Right, nothing. At one point, I'm going to have to go on YouTube and look at the VHS tape, since I missed it. Oh, that's right! I avoided this, didn't I? Like the plague. Yeah, I wonder why I avoided it. Fucking single desk. Don't look at it. Oh wait, sorry. I'm back. I don't know why I disappeared for so long. Alright, go home. Really? I see a lot of things there. Go home is what you read. Oh, there you go. Thief, drop dead. Go home, thief, stop, drop dead. Is that something I have to remember? An order? Alright. G H T D D. Go home, thief, drop dead. Alright. That was random as fuck. Oh. Okay, I took the stuff from here. So we've been here. We've done this. I never checked that desk before. Not sure if it's needed. I don't even quite remember that desk being there. I guess it's kind of easy to miss. Go home, thief, drop dead. It's probably not a puzzle or anything. Alright, so then I'm lost. Such a small area too. I do not have a map, so I cannot figure out where I am in this place. So I may be checking the same door more than once. I can't go to Haggith. I can only go to this one. Hey. I love refrigerators. You crazy banana. Thanks for the subscription, Z. I hope you find some use with those emotes. 
let's try in here again. Nothing helpful. A diary full of drama. <laughs> now you can pickle out everywhere. Hmm. Dead bodies everywhere. And my man doesn't want to look at them. My body's laid on the bed. I don't want to check this out. I don't feel like checking this out. <laughs> You're the first princess to ever use that in my chat. Hmm. That's the door we come from, right? No, this is the door we come from. One of these is that fucking insane asylum place. Let's try not to get into there again by accident. <laughs> I say by accident, but I secretly like it. We did this puzzle, right? <laughs> I don't have to do this again. Alright, good. So we have a pieces to put somewhere, but I haven't found any slots to put them in. Hmm. I've been to every freaking room. Um, the only thing... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been to every room. I'd want to go back into that hell hole with all the. Oh, here we go. Did the hell holes in it? No? Okay, good. With all the nurses. Made some fried potatoes so I can watch you without being hungry. Nice. That sounds delicious. What's your choice of condiment? Do you eat it with ketchup? There's the... Okay, is there something here I can do maybe that I'm missing out? It was a little bit bigger than I remember. I'm gonna stay up for a while. Cool. I appreciate that. Thanks for the love, people. That's really kind of cute. Alright, I'm spamming the A now. Just in case I'm missing something. Take a seat, you need a rest, no? I guess we can save, I don't think I deserve it. Oh, this is still nowhere, alright, good. I love that the save is nowhere. Alright, 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 alright. So I need a key, definitely. Old clock, there's a square hole in the center of the clock. The hand of the clock is the key. Oh, no, the hand of the clock is a key. So I need to get the key from inside there. That's probably what the further bird cage is. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. I never really acknowledged the glass cover part before. That that was his issue. It's worth a try. I love the sidestep. So useless. Uh, uh, I mean, I have, a, I have a knife. I have a kitchen knife. Little jabby jabby. <laughs> no. Can't get to it because there's a glass case over it. Why not use the edges of the fucking thing to cut it? Oh, what? Okay, I did this already. I am more than certain I already tried that. Unless there was a distance issue. Maybe I wasn't like right up against the clock or something. I could have sworn I tried that item on here. That's silly. How's the inside of the clock and you can't even scratch it? Wow. They got bulletproof glass, of course. Of course they would have bulletproof glass.
Jeez, I can't believe that shit. All because I maybe had been a distance away from it. Oh, this is for the other room. I keep thinking, this is the second time I went straight to here. Instead of going to the room that it's for. This is Haggith. This is the big door. This is for the big guy. Well, I did save, so... Let's go. Maybe I want my big boy back, too. Since we're talking about big boys. Yeah, I feel safe. Huh? Is it a working elevator? Oh, shit. Alright, alright, cool. What is that noise that is happening right now? Uh... Okay, we are on the first floor. Let there be a map outside. No one? No one? Alright. It's probably not even open. Oh man, it's open. God damn it. There they are. There's my ladies. A lady. Come on. Nope, don't go too fast. Oh. That was too fast. Not cool. Oh. Alright, that was not cool. I did not expect her to do a little jog. Hi. Come a little closer. Nope. Stop oh. running. Stop running. Oh. Yeah, no ganging up on me this time. Oh. Those three in that one room still give me shivers. They tweezed my nipples so hard that time. I've never forgotten it. I have phantom tweeze. I have phantom purple nipple. Hello. Don't give me sound effects, game. Not here. Alright, I'm trying to gently grab a key of sorts. There is a crest of mercury. Take it. Ooh. A pentagon of Solomon. A crest of mercury. What are we doing here? The ring of contract. Ooh. Like a wedding ring? And a door. It's locked. It's jammed. Can't be opened. But we can see the other side. Alright, cool. <laughs> Scary music, but there's nothing in here to kill me. Cool. Alright. Is the game just putting the music for the hell of it? Is there no actual reason for it? I miss the costume changing. Hey, you have the points. Um, they're really cheap. You can change the costume whenever you want. Oh, there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yeah, if anyone else is new here, you have the points. I have a multitude of costumes and hats to switch through. And if you can get 100,000 points, you can even make your own, or request your own. And I will make it. Unless it's lewd. Like TOS. Unless it's TOS, that's it. My restrictions are pretty thin. Unlocked? Is this a shortcut to another place? <gasps> Again. That's cool. Maybe I should save. Maybe that means I should save. I don't know. Okay, jammed. Alright, we're in. <laughs> I see you're going through the... The roundabout of costumes. Right, moi. You wanna fucking go? There's a camera. Take it. That's a camera? I mean, it's a camera box, right? There's a camera inside the box? Do I have to, like, look in the box to get the camera out? What is this? No, that's the camera. That's just how the textures are. Oh, yeah, I see the flash and everything. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Cool. Huh? Ah. What the hell are all these items? Contracts, Solomon, freaking scepter, rings. Like, what is this? Yeah, game's never given me this many items. Oh, yeah. Hi. Come at me. I know you want a place. Don't go slowly. Oh, here she goes. Shit, that was too quick. That was too quick. She's tweezing my nipples. Oh, God, no, it was too quick. They're on the fucking oh. nipple gang. Stop it. They're my nipples. Oh. 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 
Oh, how the spikes would show up this time? Yeah, it's a little too dark. It's way too dark to see the spikes. There we go. And let me breathe. <laughs> I just look bald with the punk at night. Probably could. Yeah, that's right. I think we talked about this last time. I think I put like uh, little green frost tips on it, maybe. I'd probably do like green frost tips. I think we talked about that last time. Hello. A steel plate is screwed to the wall. Interesting. Screwed, you say? Don't we all feel a little screwed right now? Eep. I can remember to do that with the hair. There is a key. Ooh, and it's attached to fucking electricity. Blowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Sounds like a wuss when he says it. But I'll get shocked! So we're gonna use everything in my arsenal because... You complained. I'm pretty sure it'd be something more obvious than this. Huh? Alright, so I need plastic gloves. Or to... Stop the power. <laughs> we must unite to stop the power. Alright. So, nothing in this room is standing out as obvious. We can hear a generator going of sorts, so maybe when that generator stops making noise, there'll be an indication that we can come here. I don't think I have anything. I doubt I can attack this. Hmm. Couldn't you technically, like... I don't know. I mean, I know you usually need rubber, but... You, could you use your jacket? Like, put your hand in your jacket and grab the key out? Or would you still get fried? That texture looks so very suspicious. I mean, it's a great. Okay, yeah, it is great. I just want the key real bad. Okay, so we saw a key and we have a whole plethora of weird random fucking items. And yet, none of those items that I have were for that. I don't want to go back because I don't think there's anything back for me. Although it did give me a shortcut to come back real quick. As if there was something. What do I have on me that's new? Uh, I feel like these two are going to go to the same place. The Crest of Mercury and the Amulet. Make a symbol of Mercury signif signifies alchemy. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait, no. We already got... Wait. We already got the key. But this does look like it has a square-shaped hole. <clears throat> we got the key from the clock. Is there anything more to this? Oh, the square-shaped hole that he was talking about was the thing down there. When he said square-shaped hole, I thought he talked about right in the middle, because it zoomed up on the hand. And the hand, like, has something in the middle. I thought that's what they meant by square-shaped hole. Nope, that's fucking nothing. Alright. Rustic, hefty-looking ring of unknown material. Unknown material, you say. And you are a camera with a flash. Something I might need to flash. Alright. I can't use melee items on that. So yeah, I think I have everything I... I need to, uh... Get that key. Although, I could go to the third floor. The other just doesn't appear to be working. You sure about that? You might want to check that again. It was clearly working. Uh, let's go through the hag. Let's go through this way again, just to remind ourselves the pathway. All right, go straight to the elevator every time. So there's two elevators on this floor, then. All right, so let's go to third floor. See if we have access to there. So then this is not the same. Well, I mean, like. The pathways seem like the same hospital, but I'm guessing it's not the same hospital. That was Alessa that we just saw. I think it was a different hospital. Just has similar path thing. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. Satan? Is there any other god? Oh god, more puzzles. And do I have to click things? Of course I do. Of course I do.
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to randomly do these ones. I won't guess this time. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to guess with. How are you gonna possibly get this one? I don't even know what the clue is. Uh, uh, yeah. What age do you want to watch streams? What age do I want to watch streams? I'm not sure I understand that question. I don't think there is a specific age. Like, do I watch older people? Is that what you mean? Do I watch specific age people? I don't watch kids, if that's what you mean. I might be watching teenagers for all I know. I really don't know what their ages are. What ages do I want to watch streams? The light to the future. Really? That's my clue? And what's something to the past? The light illuminating the darkness. The light to the future. The light illuminating the darkness. But then they're all light. Do you mean what's the stream age rating? What age do you watch streams? Hmm. Who do you want to watch your streams targeting angels? Oh, who do I want to watch? Just about anyone, really. I mean... It's probably not... It's probably not really great for kids. Like, I don't mind kids, but... Because of my the nature of my vocabulary... <laughs> I wouldn't want kids to be watching my stream. It'd be nice. They're a gr great audience to have. I believe there's bigger numbers in the younger audience. But, I don't know. Teenagers to a, whatever age you want to be. You know, 12 and up, I guess. Like, I like kids and all, but... <clears throat> I don't think their parents would want them watching my stream. So I really don't care. But... Um, yeah, like, I really don't care about who's in my audience. Age-wise. Like, for conversation-wise, for, like, teenagers and up. Yeah. Because sometimes it's hard to be, play pretend and be silly. Like, I like it when kids come in here and they kind of get involved with the games and, like, with the characters. And they talk about them like they're real or whatnot. It's really cute. And I like getting into that, too. But it's kind of fake when I get into it. I wonder what they were It'd be really weird. Are you an 18 plus stream or all ages? Well, the thing about that, I was a mature stream, but I took that off because the partnered streamers, the bigger partner streamers don't even have it on, even though they are mature streams. So apparently Twitch doesn't give two shits. Yeah, Twitch does not give two shits about uh, what your if your stream is take mature or not, because the most popular Twitch streamers that have mature streams don't put it don't put it on. So when I saw that, I was like, you know, I'm taking mine off. I'm limiting my freaking viewership this way if I have it on, and the bigger streamers don't. So silly. Light illuminating. The darkness. Not eliminating, it's illuminating. Which means it would be above, right? Not sure what this Chinese checkers is supposed to do. Illuminating, which means everything would be bright. Like, I'm assuming these dots represent the darkness. Like, what is it supposed to represent? 
I'm assuming the white's light and the things are dark. Is it supposed to look like the painting by any chance? Like, it's kind of light on the sides. You're right, being silly to get viewers is not good. It's not being silly to get viewers. No, what I meant by kids, like when they um, start playing pretend or whatnot, like I can't do that. I like it, it's cute, it's funny, but I can't really bring myself to uh, play pretend. It gets awkward for me very quickly. There's just enough for me. The light to the future. So we got white on the side and then it's dark everywhere else. And this one's just in the middle. That makes no sense to me. Okay, so any other button goes away. Okay, so pressing any other button is kind of like the confirmation on it. This one is really weird. This, and I'm never like really sure if all the puzzles are here or not. If everything I need is here. There's two of puzzles that I'm stuck with right now. Hmm. Anything else? Weird. Both doors have the exact same things on it. But on each side has two different paintings with the light to the future, which don't tell me a lot. Like, I'm assuming it's a direction. Light illuminating the darkness, light to the future. Light to the future tells me that the light would be at the bottom and the darkness would be at top. And light illuminating the darkness tells me that the light is at the top and the darkness is at the bottom. That's the theory I'm going on, but it could be terribly wrong. If that's light to the future, then everything else would be dark. But the fact that you can choose specific, like it's not like you choose the whole thing dark. You can only you can choose specific ones dark, and that also throws me off. Because that means I'm not supposed to select all of them. That there's something... I'm supposed to leave some of them white. I doubt they want me to do the actual drawing. It could be something as simple and silly as counting the legs again. Fuck me. There's nothing here to count this time. It's just how much light there is on this painting, I guess. Right. Looking at these two paintings. Damn, they really made these puzzles obscure. At this part of the game. Wow, I thought I was making good progress and then boom. I feel like I've hit a wall with this game. I have all these items and like they do nothing. Shit me. This is just the other side, no? Where I came from? Nope, it's not. Can I search everything here? Oh, there's nothing else to search but here. The elevator just happens to be its own room, okay. So I'm just gonna backtrack and try everything again. Thankfully, everything's not too far apart. Backtracking in Silent Hill hasn't been too much. Hasn't really been a pain at all. It's been pretty sweet. It's very much akin to like Resident Evil. Everything's pretty close by. Everything is very always like sectioned off, you know, you're never backtracking like crazy. So we stole a whole bunch of items here. Can't put them back. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to that room. Back to where we came from originally. All right. Other than saving, I wonder if there was a reason why it lets me come all the way back here. I 
Been here, done that. <clears throat> Damn. Okay, now this goes back to that room. How many rooms are there to get there? Okay. So this is its own thing. This was jammed and that was jammed. So this floor has two parts to it. Second floor. Wait, how does the second floor end up being there? I thought that was the first... Oh, wait. No, I thought that was the first floor. I thought this was the first floor. I really need that map. I am so confused about how I got here. Use an elevator to get up here. And then it takes me to here. I know there's a staircase, but I remember using the staircase to use the elevator. I'm so lost. I don't want to do this again. Which way did I go from? Okay, I am so going in circles right now. I'm gonna have to do this enough times until I fucking memorize this goddamn path. Alright, yeah, I know all these are locked, except the last one. And that's where the puzzle is. One of two puzzles, right? Well, it's not a puzzle, this is just where the key is. Which... I currently... Electricity is flowing to the key, I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Tell me, like, that means I couldn't take the power. I can't take the power off. Like, him saying I can grab it now. Can't grab it now. Doesn't make it seem like I can do something right now to it. Be cool if you just put on that ring. Just put on the ring. And that's the key to the last room, too. Hmm. Hmm. That's not a door. There's this weird grate over here, but I doubt that creates nothing. I mean, no. That'd be cool if that worked. Just bashing it. No. No. Hmm, so none of these doors worked. Uh, I am, I guess I've completely forgotten where the other, oh no, it's the third floor, that's right, okay. So there's one puzzle here and there's one puzzle on the third floor. And that's my issues right now. There's not a, really a puzzle, there's just the key though. And there's no other room for me to go to? Really? Nothing else. No other puzzles. Hmm. The key, I really don't think there's anything I can do about it right now. But that other puzzle room, there's definitely something I can do. There's definitely something I can do. What's in here? Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. Alright, yeah, it has to be the paintings. It's just, wow. The clues are just so fucking obscure. Like, I just don't know where to start with that one. Did I try the two doors on the left here? Just making sure. I wonder how long it took to load on the PlayStation between these doors. Okay. So now I'm really like double checking to see if I went through every door. It'd be the elevator at the end of this floor. So what's this again? Yeah, that's where we stole all the stuff. Even the music's getting impatient with me. Here, let me throw some atmosphere music for you. You don't seem to be doing anything. Alright, and everything else is locked. Alright, so this takes me back to the elevator, and from the elevator... Nothing in the elevator rooms for me to get, right? Just chairs? Hmm. So, you got any theories on the painting? Because I am Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. There's a chalice here, but he doesn't let me put in the chalice. I don't. Oh. What is. Numilatra Mokos. Fear of the longest word in the world? Or fear of numbers? I don't. Oh. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna. I don't even know what. How I'm gonna work that into Alexa. Let's. A lung disease? Okay, that's interesting. Here are small numbers and volcanoes. That's what I thought by the word. The numerical and the scopic. And yeah, there's volcano in there too, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A fear of small numbers and volcanoes. Uh where's the translate? God damn it, I wanna hear it. I wanna hear this crazy word. <laughs> Numino Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Numino Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Alexa, what is Numino Metronic Microscopic Silico Volcano Osis? Oh, Echo, what is Numino Microscopic Elioscope Volcano Osis? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, According to the Oxford Dictionary, new monoulter microscopic silico volcanoconiosis is a type of lung disease that is caused by inhaling very fine volcanic ash and sand dust. Oh, by inhaling volcanic ash. There, there we go. I got her to say it. Even though I don't think I fucking said it. Neutromonic, neutronic microscopic volcano oasis. That is so much easier to fucking understand it. Neutronic Microscopic Volcano Oasis. Wow, what a word. Neutronic Microscopic Volcano Oasis. Fuck supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's a fucking mouthful. God damn. God damn, Bale. It's a real thing. Yeah, apparently. I'm I don't know why they have to make it so difficult to say. Especially for people who suffer from that. They can never tell anyone about it because their lungs are fucking damaged. Like, what the fuck? That's so mean. Looks like an altar. I wonder what they would... What they would... What they worship. Okay, so there's nothing I can put in that altar. These lights I cannot turn on. I mean, I've tried, right? I'm gonna try the key. Try this. Can I put something on the paintings, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. No? That made so much sense to me. I, well, I mean, there's not really much sense there, but, you know. Because I, I only had, like, only two of them. Two of these items and two paintings. That made sense to me, but no, no. How about we take a picture of it? Oh my god, we can't take a picture of it? You're fucking kidding me. The light to the future. Fuck you, game. I mean, that's awesome. Like, I was thinking I could steal the picture, you know, and resell the art. But this works. This works. <laughs> I was trying to think of thievery. Not fucking puzzle solving. Uh, did I do it the wrong direction? I did, I knew it. It was either the L being to the left or to the right. Look at that, I'm saying really long impossible words and solving puzzles. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels so good. How about you? Who would have thought that you would need to use a camera on a painted picture? All right, all right. We got some crazy symbols, symbology right there. We do it across. 
we do this. Okay, it was a triangle. I know it was a triangle. I almost forgot what it was. But it wasn't in this direction. Or that direction. It was that direction. <laughs> Alright, so which one are we going to first? Alright, this is sweet. Progress. Every time I think we're not getting anywhere in this game. And I'm so glad I did not take any hints. Like... I'll never forget that one hint I took. Count the legs. So silly. Wait, that's not a book I can read? On the ground? Seriously? Not a book I can read on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Asylum. I'll never forget. Okay, jeez, I was gonna get pissed off. We came into this room for nothing. There's a place mark in the book. White Claudia. Perennial herb found near water. Reaches height of 10 to 15 inches. Oblong leaves. White blossoms. Oblong. Hilarious cartoon. Uh, seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucination, hallucinogenic effect was key. I was just like, huh, I wonder if it's nice. <laughs> I wonder if I was supposed to learn anything from that book I just read, because I completely forget, forgot everything. That's a key. Birdcage key! Yeah, really? I didn't think it would be the birdcage key next. I thought that was going to be the very, very last thing. So this thing told me about flowers. Is that what I need to put in the altar, maybe? Ah... Uh, White Claudia, perennial herb found near water, reaches height of 10 to 15 inches, oblong leaves, white blossoms. Perennial herb, oblong leaves, white blossoms. Seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was key. I can only name like what, three plants there? I don't know. I'm sure something will register maybe. So, birdcage. Okay, I gotta see what floor one is. Since I thought that was floor one. What is floor one, then? Yeah. How's that possible? I swear, floor two leads to floor one. I'm not... I'm not going crazy. I swear to you, floor fucking three leads to floor one. I mean, floor two leads to floor one. It's ludicrous. Do I have to use the key or can you figure it out for yourself? He figured it out for himself. Good boy. Oh, Feleg. Wait, this is the key of Feleg. What is the key upstairs then? There's another special door for us somewhere. Alright, Feleg. Let's go. Backwards. Here we go. Maybe I should save. We don't know what's back there. Oh god! Wrong place! Oh, they love tweezing. It was this room here. This door. Nope. What the hell? Did I hit the poor kid? So they're not kids anymore. Okay. The word Bethor is carved on the door. Oh, so that's why we need another key. For Bethor! Um. No? That's a box. But he doesn't know how to touch it. Is that a... Okay, those are bottles. I thought those were arms cut off and the bones hanging out. 
Just me. And that's a cross shoved into there. The chain is missing a link. There is a dagger of Melchior. Take it. Yes. Do I have anything linkable? Yep. I have something linkable. Use the ring. Was I supposed to put something in there though? The chain is fixed with the ring. I'm not quite sure if like... What would have happened if I didn't do that? Would have something busted out and come after me? I'm really confused. Yep. Don't go to the door and check it out. Alright, alright, we're good. So I guess that would have been a cutscene of me dying. I kind of want to see it. Are you playing the game with an emulator? Of, or is there a PC version? It is an emulator. There is... Silent Hill 1 is the only Silent Hill game that has never been remade. And I believe the whole entire Silent Hill series is still stuck on console. There's only been one PC Silent Hill game. It's a huge fucking shame. Like... Konami's sitting on a fucking gem of a franchise. And they have not brought it over to anything else. They left it where it began. Basically. Konami has a huge issue with bringing the game over or porting it or preserving it, period. So yeah, I have to play an emulator because Silent Hill is the only game you can't get anywhere else. I think 2 and 3 have been remade for PS3. But other than that, I don't know if it's available anywhere else. Uh, uh, 4 might be on different systems. The floors and walls are covered with graffiti. But yeah. Good luck finding Silent Hill anywhere in the real world. I'm sure that shit is like marked up like crazy. There's a nunk. Take it. Yes. Yeah. The emulator does an amazing job of up the game. The emulator has made everything sharp. I don't know if it does the best with the textures. Because I think some things are kind of blurry when I try to read them. But I don't know if those things are meant to be read or not. But other than that, like it does a great job. The sound is pretty good too. Sound seems to be working. The graphics seem great. There's little things missing in the graphics sometimes. Not sure if that was a normal with the original one. Or if there's something I can do to fix that. It's like sometimes like little polygons will go missing. Tag it. Drink it. There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Said no one ever. Uh, jelly beans! Do you want to open the bag? You mean they were closed? What happens if I say no? My man's opening a bag of jelly beans. You fucking child, you. Seriously? Seriously. What were you planning? Were you even planning to eat those jelly beans? What a goddamn waste. This guy opens this bag like a fucking child. Just with all the force in the world. God damn. No wonder you're being haunted. Just come into someone else's town and start fucking ruining their jelly beans by tossing them all over the place. You deserve what you get. Those are delicious. <gasps> oh my god. Redemption. I finally get to see what's on the tape. I've been waiting four hours for this. I've been waiting a day for this since yesterday. It has always been on my mind. Please let me use it. Yes. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. So please. Alright. Worth it. I mean, no one ever see it again. It's interesting that they just have that in this room and that's it. That's all this room is for. Okay. I'm really curious what was in that closet, though. Like, what if I didn't put the key on it? 
I mean, the ring on the chain. Would it have destroyed me? It would have been a different beast, a unique one. Wait. This is not where I came from, is it? No, it's not. Just, there, I guess there's two Belthor doors. Now, this is a Resident Evil room. Pretty sure Resident Evil 4 has this very room. All the butterflies. Nothing unusual. You sure about that? That box looks unusual. Cards are scattered on the floor. I didn't look at the cards on the floor. I wanted to look at the painting on the wall. But sure. Oh, why does it ask me to save here? I wonder. Yeah, yeah I mean, if the game says so, who am I to deny? So if there's like more to look at. Child's room. The child's drawings are scattered on the floor. And what about this? A girl's clothing thing hangs on the wall. Six, maybe seven. Must be a kid about that age. What if it's a midget? How dare you judge? There are old fairy tales, picture books of animals, and plants on the shelf. Okay. None of this stuff is of any use. You didn't even open the door. How would you know? Thou possesses them to guide, to guard thy spirit, to evoke five rites, unveil thy fate. One is a sword, one is an onk, one is a thing. I'm missing one item. That's it. I'm missing the ball. I have everything. I mean, I guess we can put them all there for now, just for safekeeping. Get out. Wait, what? Oh, I thought something was happening. I was freaking out for a second. Nice. The sword. Nice. So we're missing some weird circle ball thing. Almost there. It's locked. I know. Just the ball, eh? I doubt I have it. Alright. Why is the music doing this? What the fuck changed? What happened? Why are you trying to get to me, game? I know your tricks. Alright, so there's two of these Belthor doors. It's locked. The word. Oh, this is the Atr Eratron. Okay. Crap, I forgot uh, where these names are based on. Mm, he said earlier. Uh, Eriku. Or someone else said what it was, and I missed it. No, no, he said it, yeah. The Olympian Spirits, that's right. Olympian Spirits. Gotta look that up. I don't mind learning about those. They got some pretty cool names. Hey, I remember you. And we turn the power off and get to the key. There we go. It's funny that we worked our ass off to get it turned on, and now we're turning it off. What was it all for? Alright, so we're going back up to get the key, and I guess once we get the key, we come back down here. I'm assuming something big is going to happen. Because it's kind of interesting that they're going to have to go all the way up to get the key, and then come all the way back down. Did I check every freaking door? Yeah, I did. This is the one elevator that doesn't work. I keep forgetting which door it was to get to the other side. Well, there it is. And let's ignore that person. We don't we don't hear him, we don't see him. Except I might need to go that way to get to the room with the key. I think that's the room with the key, unfortunately. Why else would they put an enemy in the direction? Yeah, oh god, no. They're invisible now? Really? Stop touching me in those weird places. I don't like how low you grab me from. It looks indecent from these ankles. Stop it. My cat can squirt. Everyone's cat can squirt. You're not unique to that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you thought you were the only one. 
I want to say welcome in, but I'm not quite sure what your intentions are right now. If that's the first thing you've said. I'll just grab it. The key of Eritron. Yep, now we gotta go all the way up and back down. Not all the way back down, just... Yeah, through here. But can it squat? Oh, shit. <laughs> but does your cat have the moves? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, what? I don't want to know what you're going to do with a squatting cat. Like, squatting people's apartments? I think every cat's a squatter in that sense. Why am I having a hard time finding where I came from? Psst, what the fuck? Yeah, I thought you were just over here. There we go. The two elevators was really screwing with me. It's like singing. It's like the singing frog from Bugs Bunny. Everything is going according to plan. Sheltered in the womb. Money, but of course. Of course. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. He's buried deep down in the subconscious. Hello, my ragtime girl. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no. These are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. The promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Weird. Unless so they're we drawing the power from you people? We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Is that what it is? Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Send me a kiss by wire. I always just turned it into my ragtime gal or something like that. Because I never knew what it was. Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. Send me a oh, wow. That was a skit that all. That was a Looney Tunes skit that always stood out to me. There was something about no one ever believing him and the frog never wanting to do it when he wanted to show people that really got to me as a kid that no one would believe him hey there we go the last thing cool does anyone remember where that door was oh, yes sir yeah so she is all right the next verse is what i said oh so hello my darling hello my honey send me a kiss by wire cool good to know I think my favorite version of that, though. Yeah, see, the reason why I remember that skit so much, uh, not just because, yeah, like, the guy, no one ever believed the guy, it was because of fucking space balls. Like, yeah, it's funny. I always remember the frog, but then I remember fucking space balls. Frog was definitely the one I grew up with. Space balls I didn't see until I was old, way older than that. But that one is probably my favorite version of it. I don't know if anyone's seen Spaceballs, the parody of Star Trek, or Star Wars. Uh, although the scene that it was parodying was from Aliens, where the alien bursts through the stomach. They have a scene where the guy's at the diner. Fuck, you know what? It's, just, it's, just, it's too good. 
It's too good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hamo, if you never tried watching 90s movies, 80s and 90s movies are the best movies. And I don't say that like as uh, subject to opinion. If 80s and 90s movies weren't as great as they were, Hollywood and Hollywood wouldn't be trying to reboot them for the last freaking 20 years. Like, I mean, they're great movies from every era, but when it comes to the gems, the classics, the ones that make, the ones that TV today is based on, you know, things like SpongeBob SquarePants, cartoons, everything that you're watching today was written by people growing up watching that. Right, watching 90s and 80s stuff. The ideas, especially in the 80s, the ideas were so wacky, but when they worked, like, they're, they're gems. They're unforgettable. Alien, Predator. Like, when they work and they're fucking, they do the content properly. Even The Thing. The Thing was the best then. That was the best version of it. I mean... There's been a lot of good movies in 2000s, but... I mean, I grew up with the 90s and 80s, so it's hard, hard for me not to be biased with those iconic fucking movies. Okay, so I lost where that room was with all the things that I was putting on the wall. Where the fuck is that room? Was it on the same floor as here? I thought it was. New movie pre was alright. You like that? Like, the production was good. I just found it stupid that the natives were acting like North Americans. And plus, the idea that an, some native, really weak native, took out a fucking Predator. I'm sorry, this is really hard for me to get by. That that's the origin story of Predator. A better film would have been he slaughters everybody. And that's it. And begins the reign of Predator on planet Earth. Like, there was good aspects about it, like the action looked good, right, the kills looked nice and clean, the predator looked cool, he was in a nice suit, what the fuck is that? Goddamn loud noise. But for me, like, I couldn't get over the main content, the main story of the movie, and just how loose it was. I mean, he had a native telling another native that they couldn't bring it home. And this is like, I don't think that's some... That's- I don't think that's a term of phrase natives had, or would ever use, especially in the colonial days. Especially because, like, I always assumed Take It Home was a baseball reference, so to hear a native tell another native you didn't- you weren't able to take it home, like, that and amongst other things, it just- it's hard for me to get over. Like, is there a good film to be watched? Maybe, but I think their portrayal of natives was really stupid. It was really immature-ish. I want a good Predator movie, too. Because, I mean, I'll give it this. It was better than the Predator, uh, the last Predator film. The, I guess it's a sequel to the original series. But yeah, the last Predator film, that was bad. Prey was definitely better than Predator, uh, the last Predator film. Just because the last film kind of made fun of Predator, which was a weird thing. Surprised they didn't give me maps for this part. Fuck, where was it? Was it the big door? Fuck, where was that room with all the trinkets? Was it this big door here? Please tell me it's this big door here. No, it's just the big door is an elevator, which doesn't seem to be working. Why didn't I take note of which floor that door was? It has to be in one of the new rooms, though. Like, this was the new room. And then... There was this. I don't remember going anywhere else to open up a new door. Because there it is. Yeah. How did I miss this? This is stupid. <laughs> Fudge me. No. What did you like about the movie Prey? Or am I hearing another opinion? Because I have a sour opinion on it. Mommy tells you now. <laughs> I 
just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. So we're always seeing the past memories in these, okay? Oh, I mean, obviously. But mommy, I just want to be with you. It's kind of weird that he's just seeing them now all the just time. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Okay. Things got weird inside. Now this is a Resident Evil looking type of room. Did we come from here? We must have come from here, right? Yes, we did. I wonder if Resident Evil got the quick turnaround from this game. I'm kind of surprised that the first Silent Hill game had a quick turnaround. I think it took a few Resident Evils before they implemented that. Don't know if that was in part two either. Pretty sure it was Resident Evil 4 that they implemented the quick turnaround back B. Oh, okay. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's I don't know how far I am. What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. <laughs> Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning when all our sorrows will be washed away. Who's in the chair? When we return to the true paradise. Okay. Who's in the chair? My Are we talking about that? Will be the mother of God. Oh, she's gonna give the birth to God, you say. Yeah, sure, I'm willing to believe it. Give me a bright light like that. Oh shit, the girl's a woman. Yeah, it must be the emulator that's fucking up the polygons. That kind of sucks. It's awakening. It's awake! Now no one can interfere! Cheryl! If that person no longer exists, this Cheryl. is a god descended among us to reach out and save us! Oh shit! God don't like you. God doesn't like what you just said. Oh, oh, we're fighting, eh? Well, game. I'm assuming this is the end of the game. I'm 
ask her questions. That, I guess. Run. Oh, don't stop running. Okay. Run, but don't stop. Yeah, this is the last guy. I have way more than enough resources for this. <laughs> yeah, basically. Nope, don't fall Cheryl. for it. Nope, don't fall for it. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, that's actually Goodbye. kind of sad. No, no, no. Cheryl? Is this because I got the bad ending? Is there such Baby. thing? Can't leave like this. No, you can't, man. This can't be happening. Cheryl? I wonder how long it Cheryl. takes to go from the cop to this. No way, I got the wrong bad ending or something? I mean, I did just shoot my daughter constantly in the head instead of trying to melee her. I'd even try. I mean, I didn't try to, like, melee her at all. I did just go straight in for shooting, because I thought it was Big Boss. Was I not supposed to shoot her? Oh shit, beautiful song. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this up. Did I fuck something up? There's two good endings and one bad ending? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to play this game over again or something? I save this game periodically. Maybe I can find one of the saves. That means I'd have to return to this next week. This song's beautiful. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How many endings? Four different endings? I got the worst ending. Of all four endings, I got the worst ending. Uh, uh, if I mean, if I'm gonna play it again, I have to know exactly what it is I need to do. Because I wouldn't want to have to do this shit over again. Are you kidding me? Uh, how do you get them? It was all in his head. It never happened. Wait, is that what it is? Is it showing like I died at the car crash and it never happened? What the hell is going on now? Is this outtakes? Did they put fake outtakes in the game? Oh, that is too awesome. Dahlia Jalas, 
listening forever. It's so funny. They have these scenes. Are you kidding me? There's 10 things you have to do, 11 things you have to do to get the good ending.